Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Johnny Buss, one of Jerry's sons. Uh, it's a little different than uh, a press conference, you know, speaking in front of everybody, but uh, I'll do my best. My dad celebrated his 80th birthday on January 27th. It was not surprising that he held on to Valentine's Day, a day that meant a lot to him. He held true to his spirit and quietly passed on, Jan on February 18th. As kids, his doctor status didn't mean a lot to us at the time. We were too young to know the difference between chemical do a doctor of chemistry and a medical doctor. Uh, he wasn't exactly proficient at putting on a Band-Aid when we'd cut or scrape ourselves. Uh, but later on, we understood that our dad was a brilliant in intellectual, a man who would take us on an incredible journey that no one could ever imagine. On the surface, it seemed that everything went right for this man. And in a way, it did. But not without strenuous work hours, passion, diligence. Not everything went right, but because he was always thinking ahead, everything became right. His honesty, his integrity, insight, coupled with kindness, humility, and a gentle disposition, he truly had the right stuff. He never had to step on anyone to get ahead. He surrounded himself with good people, some who have also passed, and many who are here today. He loved Los Angeles, and as we can see, Los Angeles loved him too. As his children, we will continue to shake off prejudice of trying to fill his shoes. No one can fill his shoes. We can only do our best to continue with our father's request, guided by an intricate roadmap that he laid out for us over the next generation. We will continue to surround ourselves with good, knowledgeable people, just as our father has. His desire for us to continue winning, winning dynasty for this city that we will fulfill. <laughs> now, as most of you know, my dad most always wore jeans. And if you noticed, he liked to cut off the bottom of those jeans. They would fringe, and I caught him one time combing the bottom of his fringe. <laughs> now, it may not be the best fashion statement, but I propose that, as a tribute to Jerry Buss, that each January 27th, his birthday, to cut off a, pair, a bottom of a pair of jeans and wear them in his honor. I hope you do that. I will do that. So if you spent time with this man, you didn't want it to end. Throughout his life, his friends and family wanted to be with him wherever he went. His employees would find themselves staying way too long after work just to hang out with him. It was really hard to pull away from this guy. If you were a reporter, you wanted five more minutes. If you played poker with him, you wanted to stay just one more hand. If you were a friend, you just wanted to hang out for another hour or so. But you know, if you were his child, you wanted 80 more years. Abraham Lincoln said, in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. Thank you, and I love you, Dad.